Hey, it's Aran here. This is a tech tutorial on System IO where I'm going to share with you how to upload a video to a lesson in your System IO course. So I'm currently uploading content to my website creation and optimization 14 day challenge. In the replay section, I'm going to click on add lecture. Now I'm going to basically choose this one. So this is group call number four, which is this one, paste it in. And I'm going to go to click on my blocks, scroll down a little bit. And then you'll see that I have my own template, lesson template, headline bullets and video. I'm going to drag it. And now this one, I'm going to paste in and change the name exactly the same thing. I'm going to now, I've got two options on this video. So first of all, option number one is I can actually grab this link and here I can actually upload a video file that's option number one and you simply click on the select video click on the video whatever that video is and click on open slash upload that's option number one option number two is to upload a YouTube video and this is what I'm gonna do in this particular instance I'm gonna paste it in now you'll see it like that I do want to add a thumbnail I haven't done that yet so anyway that's a different story and I'm just gonna click on save now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the timestamps because this is what I did with my audience just for this one I'm gonna grab all the timestamps like this and I'm gonna paste it in so let me just scroll down I'm gonna add text right under it I'm gonna click here make this on the left and I'm going to add the timestamps okay so now timestamps like that okay and people can refer back to it okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up somewhere of the video and I can, I'm going to summarize this in brief, but I'll, I'll say timestamps below. Um, more detailed timestamps of the content in this video is listed below. Okay. So like that. And that's how you upload a video to System.io and create a lesson. Now, in case you don't know how to uh, do a YouTube or a thumbnail as well, I'll just show you how to do it. You simply click on thumbnail and then you'll find other your projects or uh, a general one. So I'm just going to click on thumbnail. Now I actually have my own projects. So let me just go there. So I've got my generic thumbnail that's already been made uh, for these. So let me just scroll down. So now I'm going to grab the link as well. This, this one group call number four and let's do like this. All right. Good enough. There you go. Put this at the bottom. Yep. Good enough. So page number two, click here, click here. This is page number two. Click on done. I'm going to go to the video, which is this one. I'm going to click on edit video. Now you see that this is what it looks like right now, which is not how I want it. So I'm going to close it, go back here. Now it's going to go to the YouTube studio. In the YouTube studio, I'm going to upload the thumbnail, which you see. I'm going to go right here to upload thumbnail. I'm going to grab the latest one, which is this one. And now this will be replaced. Now on the YouTube video, I'm going to actually upload the timestamps as well, just because it's just better that way too. So let's just go like this, paste it here, like that. Now the reason I do it this way as well, I'm just going to show you, it's going to open in a new tab and you'll see that basically the timestamps are going to appear on the actual YouTube video. So let me just refresh. So now you see that if I click on any of these, and click here, you will see all the timestamps here as well. So that's just a really great way to do it. It's just like a great way to add value because this is all timestamp exactly to the right place. Okay, now this has already been uploaded to System.io. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna refresh, open up preview, and then th there should be a thumbnail now because the video is now with a thumbnail. So here it is, and now it's just better, right? Uh, and that's pretty much it. I still need to change this text, so I'll do a little, little summary based on what's here. But that's how you create a lesson. Okay, so I did a little summary here. Um, I think the timestamps do a great job to basically explain everything anyway. So there's no real need to do anything else. So that's about it. I'm just going to leave it like that. And um, the only other thing I will do is I will actually do an affiliate link for these tools too. So to do an affiliate link, I'm just going to go to Switchy, switchy.io, which is an incredible tool that I, I use to um, you know save links and things like that. I've got a different video that shows you how to do that. I'm going to go search for MailerLite, copy like this. Let me just do that again. Type in the URL, paste it, make it like that. So it's going to open in a new tab. And then system.io, it's iranbukai.com forward slash SIO. I grab that link like this, paste it in, open it in a new tab. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. The other thing that can be done, there's other things that can be done, but that's pretty much covers it. Click on save and that's about it. About it. Now, if you're doing something similar, what I suggest is once you've created your own lesson and you're happy with how it looks, all you got to do is is um, click right here to save the block as a template and then you'll have it. If you want 
to use my block exactly like, like I created it. Like if you if you like this block, this one, the one that I showed you, basically this one, I will actually leave a link for you to be able to use that as well. So there'll be somewhere in the description of this video. You can literally click on the block and use it for your account on System.io as well. That's about it. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used System or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the System page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident, like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month or you can also get $197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System.io, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.